Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to provide a brief overview of what Printix is, how it works, and how it can help you improve managing your print infrastructure. Printix is a modern printing solution that will provide you the flexibility required to allow you to become a more modern, agile workplace with the ability to work from anywhere, at any time, in any way. With Printix, a major part of this flexibility is achieved by the complete removal of physical print servers, which allows users to work seamlessly between offices with minimal downtime or interruption. In addition, Printix is software as a service for print management, providing customers with a clear migration path from on-premise to cloud-based print infrastructure. In line with your technical transformation strategy and to further enhance customers' ability to work how they want, whether it be desktop, laptop, tablet or mobile, a more flexible and secure approach to printing is required. Printix is fully integrated with Azure AD and G Suite authentication, giving users single sign-on capabilities. Supports direct and mobile printing on Windows, Mac, Chromebook, iOS and Android. Is print vendor independent and offers secure print release from any device to any printer automatically installs printer drivers and print queues based on location. It also supports bring your own device. The basic philosophy behind Printix is to provide fully automated print management, increasing flexibility and resilience for the end user and at the same time reducing IT overhead and workload, thus saving time and reducing cost. Printix saves time and money by eliminating the need for print servers and getting rid of demanding local administration. Key features include 24-7, 365 cloud monitoring, mobile print, meaning you can send documents directly from your phone or tablet to any Printix managed device, secure print and anywhere print, meaning secure follow me print, so you can pick up your documents at the printer that you happen to stand in front of. Also included is a comprehensive online help center with online support, manuals and user guides. Printix also offers integration through API and the package is rounded off with a pay-as-you-go payment method that supports monthly and annual subscriptions. Main advantages include serverless infrastructure. There's no need for on-premise print servers with Printix and there's no print server in the cloud. You get central print driver and print queue management all out of the web-based Printix administrator. Also part of the package is analytics and reports, giving you insights to print behavior of your users. With automation, we take care of the driver matching and updating. We also install printer queues based on user context, which means you will always have the most meaningful print queue installed based on where you are and which group membership you carry. User management supports single sign-on with Azure AD and G Suite. Authentication methods supported are local AD, Azure AD, G Suite and self-registration. The architecture is straightforward. All communication is done through HTTPS. Printix client, which is installed on Windows, Macintosh and Chrome OS, communicates with the cloud instance through port 443, so everything is secure. So let's take a look at how you can benefit off of Printix today. All we need to do is navigate to printix.net and start the free trial. I'm going to be using my Microsoft Work account to register this Printix tenant. With every new Printix tenant you register, you get 30 days free trial, no limitations whatsoever. This is the onboarding wizard. And it is important to note that all following steps are one-off administrative tasks. To save some time, I'm going to skip the video and go straight to the download for Printix client. To speed up things, I'm going to fast forward until the client is installed. And here we are. Printix client is now installed on my operating system. At this stage, it has scanned my local machine for any existing printer queues running TCP IP ports. I'll sign in using my Microsoft account and the onboarding wizard is going to continue by scanning my network through SNMP. This way, 
we will discover all printers on my subnet, including the ones I already had installed in my operating system. And we are done. The dashboard is displayed showing us some basic information on print activity. We can also learn about the print methods Printix supports by clicking onto this link. On the left side, we can see we have discovered one printer. We have one user, that's myself, and one computer, which is this machine. At the top right, we can use these icons to navigate through the different screens, such as networks, the printers, the print queues, the users, and the computers. At this point, it's worthwhile noting that the users, because I've signed up with my Microsoft Work account, are going to be added simply by rolling out Printix client to my colleagues. The domain printix.net is already enabled for single sign-on. My computer was added simply by deploying Printix client onto it. We can see the host name, any pending tasks, the network this computer sits on, what sort of a computer it is, and what operating system it's running. It also shows the Printix client version, which is automatically updated out of the cloud once it's been deployed to any computer. So there's no downtime and software maintenance. The first thing we tend to do is change the network name to something more meaningful. So I'm going to click onto Network 1, which is the first default generic name. I'm going to call this Printix LAN. What this does is it gives a meaningful name to this IP thumbprint. By installing Printix client onto this computer, we have automatically gathered the IP thumbprint of this computer and its network. So this is my standard gateway IP address together with its MAC address which gives us the capability to uniquely distinguish between all different networks. So this is my router. Let's take a look at the printers. We can see that we've discovered one Lexmark E460DN. It is online, it is on the Printix LAN, which we've just named, and it carries this IP address. The Printix ID in this case, ASD is automatically generated and can't be changed. We'll get into what this does later on. Let's take a look at the printer properties. First up, we see the printer name. We can change this anytime and it doesn't really have any impact to the end user. It is something that is used internally to administer all of your printers. We can also add a location. Let's do that. Beneath we can see Enable Geolocation. So this will serve the purpose of identifying a device directly by its location through Google Maps in this case. We can change the coordinates as we wish. The IP address of the device is shown together with its network. Down below we see Print Printer ID sign, which is gonna show the label that is required for secure follow me printing called Printix Anywhere Print. Moving on to the print queues, we can see that this device currently has one print queue set up. It was discovered off of my computer. It was already installed before I installed Printix Client, as we can see over here. This is the print queue that has now automatically been converted to Printix. So we discover your environment and automatically take over management. This functionality can also be switched off. I'll get into that just in a bit. Let's take a look at the properties for this printer queue. The print queue name was automatically inherited from my computer and it has been set active. So from here, I already have taken over management over that print queue that was discovered on my computer. Let's take a look at the printers and scanners on my operating system. This print queue was already installed prior to installing Printix client. So from here, if I wanted to change the print queue name, 
I can do so straight away. This has impact to the end user. So if we change something in the web interface, it pulls through straight to the operating system layer for everyone that has this print queue installed. Let's imagine this printer queue wasn't installed prior to installation of Printix client. And I wanted to automate the distribution of this print queue through Printix. All I need to do is tick the box saying add print queue automatically. Once I save this change, Printix tenant is now going to tell my machine to install this printer queue using the print queue name that we've specified here and the printer driver that we have automatically taken from my operating system. From here, this is a local direct IP printer. When I open the Windows standard printing dialog and choose that print queue and hit print, that print job is going through my Windows spooler, through that native manufacturer driver that we picked up initially, and going straight to my printer next to me on my desk. It has not left my local area network. It went straight from my computer to the printer within my LAN. Let's talk about that automation. Why did it install that printer queue in my operating system? Simply by ticking the box, add print queue automatically. Well, this printer is on the Printix LAN. My computer is also on the Printix LAN. More is not needed to automatically deploy print queues. Printix will install printer queues that are on the same network as your computer that you are signed into based on IP. Let's imagine you wanted to achieve a more granular administration of your printer queues. You could simply go to the settings, into the authentication and synchronize your Azure groups. In order to synchronize my Azure groups, I need to have an account that has Azure AD admin rights. Once we click on the accept, we are now synchronizing Azure AD groups with this Printix tenant. This is going to automatically reoccur every 20 minutes from now on. So what can I do with this? Let's add another print queue to this printer and give it some different permissions to the one that we already discovered. By clicking on print queues, I can now create a new print queue for this device, just like you know from your print server. I'm going to call this E460DN admins. When I open the properties for this print queue, we can see that there's a new icon called groups. This has appeared since we've synchronized our groups. You will see this on every print queue, so you can configure different groups for different print queues as you wish. Let's open the groups icon and add a group from our Azure AD. I'm going to use this group called Secure Print Level 1. Once I move it over to the right and click on Continue, I get to choose what happens. So in this case, I'm going to say I'm going to add this print queue automatically, but only if I'm part of this group in Azure AD. And on top of that, I can say Exclusive Access, which means only if I carry this group membership in Azure AD, I will be able to interact with this printer queue. So this is essentially like a GPO. Printix client that sits down in the taskbar also doesn't offer this print queue for me for self-serve capabilities. Let's change that. I'm going to untick these two options. Printix is automatically going to save these settings. When I now navigate to Printix client, and open the list of available print queues, we can see that the print queue in brackets admins is now available to me. So what I can do is I can simply put the tick in the box and say add. This is the self-serve capability that is built into Printix. It can also be switched off. The nice thing is we can now have a user install printer queues without any interaction by IT help desk. By finishing the installation, we get this dialog. We could even open the user manual at this stage. The user manual 
explains exactly how Printix client works, how mobile printing works, which we're going to talk about just in a bit, how to add printers like I just did, etc. It's all documented. So now I've installed this printer queue, and of course it's not quite true because I'm not part of the admins. So what I need to do is rename that printer queue. Let's take a look at the drivers that are used to deploy these printer queues. So Printix has registered my printer that was already installed and has automatically taken the driver and uploaded it to the driver repository. So this means with every computer that you install Printix client onto, you are automatically building your driver repository as you go, based on your infrastructure. On a side note, this comes in very handy if you are running a print server. You can install Printix client directly onto your print server and it will take all the print queues, all the print queue names, the drivers, the driver presets and make a one-to-one -one copy of your existing print server to Printix Cloud. We can change the driver simply by clicking onto the three dots at the end of the line. We can see that the filter has been predefined using the name of the driver that was discovered on my computer. We can also see the upload timestamp below. By clicking in Show Only Uploaded Drivers, we can see all the drivers that have been discovered on my computer so far. This driver database will grow as you deploy to more computers that contain different drivers from your environment. I would like to change it and use the Lexmark Universal Driver. These are the Lexmark Universal Drivers that are contained in the Printix Master Database. I'm going to be using the Printix Universal V2 Postscript 3 in version 291. So now that we've set this driver to be used when we install this printer queue, we need to push that change because this printer queue is already installed on some devices, in this case, my computer. We're going to click on Update Print Queue on Computers, which is going to completely uninstall that printer queue and reinstall it using the new driver that we selected. And there we go. The print queue is ready to go. And when I open it and open the properties, we can see it is indeed the Lexmark native driver in exactly the version that we suggest over here in the web interface. Let's make sure that all accessories are set correctly. At this stage, we don't know that it's an E460DN and we don't know about any of the accessories. So let's change that. To do this, we're going to go to the configuration tab for that printer queue and call it accessories in brackets duplex. We're going to select my computer to do this configuration process on. Printix client is now downloading the printer driver and going to install it as a temporary print queue in my operating system. It's also going to automatically open the print queue properties. So I can now go to the configuration tab and say, ask the device about any kind of additional trays, duplexing units, stapling, finishing, whatever it might be. And we can see that it has now pulled the device and it knows it's an E460DN. And we can see that it has several different accessories attached. At the same time, I can configure job properties. As pointed out in the profile name, I would like to default this print queue to always duplex. So all I need to do is go to the advanced tab, go to the printing defaults, and we can see that we are offered the standard print job dialog by the native driver. So this is what we utilize to set these configurations. I'm going to say duplex, indicated by the pictogram as well, and say OK. So once I click on OK on that tab, the print queue is going to be deleted and that profile is going to be set as the default profile for this print queue. Again, we need to enforce that change 
to any computer that is already running that print queue. Obviously, you would do this during the piloting phase. When I now open the print queue, and the preferences, we can see that indeed we are using the Lexmark Universal Driver together with that preset that we set as duplex. So when I print this page to it, my printer is now going to use that driver with any preset that you selected using the profiling that we just saw. What else can we do? Well, we could navigate to the computers and open my computer here and look at the print queues that are already installed by clicking on print queues. We can see the two print queues that have been deployed and I could simply put the tick in the box and click on the bin, confirm that and it's going to delete that print queue off my operating system. So we have full control over which driver is used, what the print queue name is, which computers this print queue is deployed to and we can even delete print queues off of computers once we've installed Printix client. One of the most frequently asked questions is how can I discover printers on a different site, for instance? The answer is straightforward. You deploy Printix client onto one of the computers on that other network or that other site. A quick fun fact on the side. If you and your colleague that you would like to deploy Printix client to are both using Windows 10 and signed in using a Microsoft account, you can simply use Quick Assist. It's built into Windows and gives you the capability to do remote support. So here we're looking at my laptop, which is living on a different network. We could imagine this is a different site. The easiest way to install Printix client onto another computer is to navigate to the link called tenantname.printix.net slash download. You could also send this link to one of your colleagues and kindly ask him or her to install Printix client and then sign in with Microsoft. So here we are, ready to sign with Microsoft. Before I do this, I'm going to move this window out of the way so we can see what happens in the web interface for our tenant printix.printix.net. On the computers tab, we will see that this device is now added simply by signing into Printix client. And there we are. My laptop has been added onto an unknown network the reason for this is that we don't want to pollute our corporate network from a Printix perspective. Imagine we would add any Wi-Fi that a computer connects to running Printix client. This is not desired, so we will put every new computer onto an unknown network, which means we need to make that network known if this is a network that we want to manage. To do this, we'll go to the Networks tab and create a new network label. In this case, this laptop is on my guest Wi-Fi. So I'm going to create a label called guest Wi-Fi and click on show only unknown networks. What this does is it shows me all the computers that are currently living on an unknown network. By clicking onto the gateway, I can now pop down the list of available labels I'm going to choose guest Wi-Fi and save that. So what we have done now is we've associated that new network thumbprint with the label guest Wi-Fi. We can see that the computer is on my guest Wi-Fi. Just for fun, let's go to my laptop and change the Wi-Fi settings to my normal Wi-Fi, which is the same thumbprint as the Printix LAN. We can see that Printix right away notices the change and in fact, simply by joining this network, the printer queue highlighted to automatically deploy is now being deployed onto my laptop. And we can see that the count just went up by one and if I open the list of computers, we can see that this printer queue is also installed onto my laptop now. It only took me to join that network for this action to take place. So what else can we do now? 
Well, we can open the printers and discover more printers on the other subnet that my laptop lives on. Before I do that, I need to change it back to the guest Wi-Fi, however. By clicking on Discover Printers, I get to choose which subnet to scan for new printers. I'm going to choose guest Wi-Fi. By doing so, it is using Printix Client on my laptop to do new SNMP broadcast in its own subnet. And hey, we've found two new printers. Now that we have two new printers, we can do more. We can see, first of all, both printers live on the guest Wi-Fi. So any configuration in terms of the automation that I do, like for instance, adding automatically, is going to have impact to my laptop because it currently lives on the guest Wi-Fi. But I can do more. I could also say remove print queue automatically, which is going to remove the print queue once I change the networks on my laptop. Imagine I change back to my normal Wi-Fi, so I'm not on the guest Wi-Fi anymore. It's going to delete this printer queue off of my laptop. I could also say that I want to make this printer queue available via the cloud. Once I do this, it means make that printer queue globally visible. So it's not only going to install on my laptop, but also here on my desktop machine that we're currently viewing. Now to me as the end user, this is simply a direct printing queue. When I go to my printing dialog and select that print queue and print to it, Printix is now going to figure out that it can't simply send a print job to that device because it's on a different network. As we can see here, these are two completely different subnets. Let's imagine these are two different sites and not connected through VAN. So Printix is now going to encrypt this document using 256-bit AES standard, send it through Printix Cloud. It's going to be received over here by Printix Client on my laptop or any other Printix Client in that network and forward that print job to the printer. So now we can print spanning networks without the need of VPNs or even servers. By default, the document is going to go through the Printix Cloud. If you want to take control over which route it takes through the internet, you can go to the settings, cloud storage, and specify your own Azure Blob storage or Google Cloud storage. By doing this, you are telling Printix tenant to transfer the document through that specific storage for this specific scenario. So while we're here, let's take a look at the general settings for this tenant. First up, we can set the retention time for secure documents. We'll get into secure printing right after this. As mentioned earlier, we can switch off the capability for end users to add printer queues by unticking this option. We can also get rid of the ASD BNM, so the Printix IDs by saying printer name without printer ID. We can also hide that from Printix client. The print queues are renamed right away. Let's go back to the settings. If you are unsure about any setting that you see on screen in any of the different categories, please do note that we have this question mark that will take you straight to the manual explaining exactly what you see on screen. So this is content based. By the way, we also have an implementation guide that is a great resource if you're unsure how to approach a pilot or a POC with Printix. An important setting under the migration policy is convert print queues. If convert print queues is enabled as it is by default, Printix will automatically convert printer queues that it finds on client operating systems that are running TCP IP ports. So exactly what we saw in the beginning of this demo with the printer queue that was already installed on my operating system here. You can switch off that setting, which will give you complete peace of mind that Printix will not touch your current configuration. This way, you can trial Printix completely in parallel to your existing infrastructure and setup. Now let's take a look at secure printing. 
We can see that by installing Printix Client on this computer, there's this print queue called Printix Anywhere that was automatically installed. If I print this website or any other document from my application to the Printix Anywhere printer, this document will be stored securely on my hard drive and sit there until I walk up to any printer that is managed by Printix and release it while I stand in front of it using Printix app on my mobile device. Printix app is freely available on the App Store or the Play Store. Let's hop over to the implementation guide and print one of the pages and then release it using my mobile phone. By choosing the Printix Anywhere print queue, the document is automatically added into my app. So here's my phone running iOS. Printix app is installed. Once I tap on Printix app, initially I will have to authenticate using Microsoft once more. It will save that, so it's a one-off. Here's my document that I just sent. So what I can do now is I can tap on it and imagine I have that label already attached to my device that we talked about earlier. I can now scan that QR code straight from Printix app. I'm going to use my screen to do so. My Azure group membership has impact to the visibility on these print queues. So if we'd locked them down exclusively to a specific group in Azure AD, I wouldn't be able to see that print queue if I weren't part of that group. I'm going to choose the first print queue called E460DN to release this print job. We have now sent a release command from my app through Printix Cloud back to my computer telling it to release that document to the printer. Again, it is not going through the cloud. It is staying within my local area network. So now let's look at mobile printing, which is different to secure print release. To enable mobile printing, first of all, we need to go to the settings for the tenant, open the mobile print tab, and enable the option here. The next thing I need to do is go to the networks and enable the network I would like to have this feature for. So I'm going to enable mobile printing for the Printix LAN. And now I will open the printer queue and let's imagine I want to enable mobile printing for several of these print queues. So I can select multiple print queues and do a batch configuration like so. Enable mobile print. Save. So when I go back to my phone, we now have the option to access these printer queues straight from my application on my phone. Let's imagine I wanted to print off a website, like for instance the implementation guide. I can open this and click on the share icon in the top right and say print using the native dialog that is built into iOS. And here we are, the two print queues that we've just configured appear like air printers on my phone. This will work for iPads, iPhones and any Android device. As a one-off, I now need to paste the password. As we can see, these print queues are locked with a little padlock. To do this, I'm going to go to the Printix app, open up the properties and say AirPrint password. I now need to copy this entire key and then go back to my application. I now need to paste that password by tapping onto the padlock icon. The password field is where it goes. Now I can select if I want to duplex, simplex, if I want to print all or just one page directly from my phone. By the way, all documents that I've printed so far are available for reprint. If I open the Printix app and go to the little clock symbol on the top right, 
I will see all of those documents that I've sent so far. So I can simply tap on them or multiple and re-release them to the printer without having to go back to my application and print them from scratch. These documents will be available for 12 hours. The Analytics tab gives us the opportunity to specify a database on your infrastructure or simply create a database on our infrastructure, meaning the Microsoft Data Center, and then tie in with the Power BI driven dashboard. If you want to find out on how this is done, simply go to the question mark and click on how to set up Power BI. Here's a quick demo report showing the Power BI integration. We see job history, we see toner and meter readings, we can filter this by device, we can export this by date and time range. We also get an overview on the print behavior and consumption of each user. By clicking onto any user, we get the amount of documents printed for any given period of time that we can specify in the top right. This report is customizable and we invite you to participate and contribute to making a meaningful report based on your requirements. At Printix, our aim is to take management out of print management and provide you with a modern printing solution. We give your users a better, more robust and flexible way of printing. You get all the benefits of cloud and the print management solution without the complexity and cost. And you dramatically reduce the cost of print operation without compromising quality and uptime. On our side, we keep your print environment running and up to date and provide you with an automated process to add and change printers. We help you with insights and recommendations to continuously improve and reduce costs and provide you with an online help desk in case of problems. Whether you are moving to a hybrid or full cloud environment, removing print servers across multiple locations or building a greenfield site, we invite you to start your journey and explore Printix with a free 30-day trial on the Printix website today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like a personal demo addressing your specific requirements, please feel free to contact us at sales at